What's going on Jeep fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a quick review and install of this guy right here. Let's get into it. This is the Rancho Rock Gear RS6 2116 front differential guide plate. It's a lot, it's a mouthful. This is for the 2018 JL Rubicon with the Dana 44 front. So these are specific to each model Jeep that you have or that you might own. If you order this, be very specific and look at what Jeep it fits because it might not fit yours. So be careful with that. It looks pretty simple. There's only seven steps, so uh, let's get out into the driveway, see how this goes. I've heard from a few people talking to him that adding a differential skid plate is sort of a waste and it's just kind of heavy and it's sort of windy here, so nothing outdoes or outperforms a great spotter. So when you're on the rocks or there's something in the trail that's in your way, Make sure that you guys wheel with a good spotter or a friend that you trust that's gonna put you in the right positions so you're not really banging on this stuff as much, right? So most of the time, you're gonna probably hit your tie rod when there's a taller rock in your way first, but I do have a bunch of uh, front diff hits on my bolts up here. I've heard from a few people and read a few forum posts about any of the diff skids, they kind of hang down and they kind of catch a little bit on those rocks and kind of defeating the purpose a little bit. But, doesn't have much of an edge. It's actually pretty smooth. So I don't think it's really gonna catch anything going by. So, yeah, all right, let's get this thing on and, and see what it's about. Maybe we'll go try to find a rock and hit it on purpose. That's not really smart, don't do that. Actually, yeah, that's what we do. We go and find rocks and kind of roll over them on purpose. Hmm. All right, here we go. So you can't really get to this thing your tie rod is blocking any kind of power tool or uh, impact that is making this very simple to get to. So, so that bolt right there, that guy's out, that guy's out, that bolt right there. Now the next step is use those same, uh, same bolts you just took out and completely wrong they give you four replacement bolts <laughs> read the instructions before doing any type of installation this is uh, this makes a lot of sense right <laughs> I'm sitting I'm like why is only one fitting in there that's weird right it's kind of strange so they give you yeah Rancho gives you these new uh, bolts to put into your uh, dip spots where the other ones came from where your factory so you do not retain those factory bolts all right, so take those bolts out, put these bolts in, back at it. No, yes, nope, yep, yeah, that's what you want to use. All right, now that you're using the actual correct bolts in this thing, <laughs> now we got to get the U-bolt over the back of the differential. This should be exciting because here is that thing all the way back there. There we go. Is that a little better? I had to get rid of the other light. Yeah, the ISO. I'm really just staying like this. Oh my god. So this is actually pretty tricky back here. 
because you need to get, which has to go over top of this. Oh, I think I got it. All right, so Bren, come over back here. This is a full family, full family affair. Thanks, babe. You're right welcome, here. Babe. Which one? So now I need small ring? basically all that stuff. Oh, small ring first. Basically, this U bolt here has to go over the top of the differential. You do not want it to be anywhere near your drive shaft at all because that will grind out all this area right there. So throw some washers up there, you bolt this up, and then you're good to go. All right, once you have your U bolt on the back of the top of the rib of the differential cover, so that is just finger tight right now. I'm gonna finish tightening down the four supplied bolts with the washers on the differential spots up here. Read instructions. That's why these install videos are gonna be fun to do because I'm just, I'm a dude. I don't know how to read instructions and that's probably bad. It's probably a bad thing, but I hope you're enjoying it. Just a little tip also in the instructions, which I, I, you know, I read now. Now I read them, so we're good. These have to be torqued down to 25 foot pounds and the back U bolt, two bolts back there. Nuts have to be torqued down to about 15. That's what they're recommending. I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm gonna call Scott and get his. So 25 pounds up front, 15 pounds in the back. That was weird. There it is, that's the Rancho. That is the rock gear, front diff, cover, protector, slider thing for your 2018 Rubicon JL. Make sure to check the description of the product if you go to pick one of these up. And there's your back section there. There it is. This was uh, probably my second install quarantine driveway video. Uh, on a scale of one to five, one being me and five being a skilled mechanic, I would, I'd, I'd give this a one, like a solid one. If you can turn a bolt and read instructions, maybe for the first time, I think you'll be fine. Rock gear, rancho, diff, slide, protect your stuff while you're going over rocks. Don't break things. That's silly. Silly to break things. It's gonna happen, but try to avoid it at all costs. If it's your first time watching any of these videos, please subscribe. Give us a like, thumbs up, whatever. Leave a comment. Let me know if you're gonna buy one of these things. I think it's pretty awesome. I'll leave a link in the description to show you guys where I got this from Quadratech. Love Quadratech, I use uh, them often. Yeah, for like 130 bucks, I think it was. 134, 124, somewhere around there. I think it's pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another stupid install from Fred. The uh, one on a scale of five good mechanics because I am not one of those guys. But if I can do it, you can do it. That should be my new slogan. Should that be my slogan? If I can do it, you can do it kind of a thing? I think that's what it would be. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.